And here we are. See if we can run them in the trailer right quick. The gates are open. Just run around in circles like this till they finally find the chute. Sometimes they go right on in and I have been out here for two hours trying to get them loaded up. And it looks like they're going to be stubborn. Come on. Come on. You are going back and forth instead of where I want you to go, naturally. But this is the normal process because if it were easy, it just wouldn't be no fun. Follow it on around. gate locked them in too then we go back in here and I was hoping I might could yell and get them both to and the last little stubborn one Gonna make me have to run all the way around this pen if he goes in. I am holding this phone with my hand as I run around, so I apologize if the video is shaky and everybody's getting motion sickness. Get in there. Come on. Oh, he, oh, he's going to be a smart one. You're just prolonging the inevitable, buddy. Come on. Worst case scenario, like I said, I've been out here two hours doing this before. I have a rope in the truck and I have gotten really good at perfecting my roping skills. I have managed to be able, I can rope them and drag them on through the chute and up into the trailer if need be. I need to put a longer rope on that guillotine over there so I can reach him over here and shut it behind him so he can't get back in the trap. Come on, man, get the memo. Come on. And he's just gonna start running right by it now. Just to make me mad.
and that's how we do it. I do not shoot or anything on anybody's property. There is no bang bang, none of this other stuff. It is simply load them out into a trailer. If I get big herds like my 48 and 41s and all that, I have a big uh, 14 foot cattle trailer that I load them into. So, but small groups like this, I can fit in this little trailer, saves me gas and uh, go from there. But that's pretty much how I do it. I'm Paul and that's how we roll around here.